Joining us now, quarterback for your Denver Broncos, number 13, Trevor Simeon. Uh, just stopped by. I don't know why I gave your number out. That's, that's, <laughs> that's just dumb. I, I, Make it official. Like nobody knew, right? Uh, thanks for coming by. Yeah, thanks how, for having me. How you feeling? Feel great. How you yeah. doing? Shoulders yeah. doing good? Shoulders great. Feel healthy. Um, stubbed my toe yesterday, but other than that, I'm good. You Wait. know, I did the same thing. Yeah. Don't you hate when that happens? Yeah. I Stubbed mean, we had a – I walked walk in the players' lounge, and we have the uh, the chair guys use for the, their haircuts, and somebody put it right in the middle of the friggin' doorway. Uh. And just, <laughs> uh, so uh, not even out here. So the, did, did, did they have to work on it, give you no, treatment and no, everything? No, I'm good. I'm good. It didn't show up on our injury list. Yeah. Trevor Simeon stubbed <laughs> toe. Yeah. It didn't, yeah. It didn't come I don't, up. I don't think that's, that's newsworthy. No. <laughs> hey, this is your third training camp. Uh, you knew in the first one with Peyton around that the chances of you actually getting into action would, uh, would rest on whether he stayed healthy. But last year you came in competing for a job with, with Mark Sanchez and others. How, how is this year's training camp maybe a little bit different for you in terms of mindset coming in, or is it? You know, it, it's mostly the same for me. I mean, it's the same deal, kind of competing coming in, and I knew that going in. Um, you know, I might, might be getting a little bit more reps early on this camp than I did last year because both, you know, Paxson and Mark were here, and we all three of us were splitting them. So um, that might be the only difference. And, and obviously I played a year, so I have a little bit of experience. And, um, you know, kind of trying to step up into that leadership role, just, you know, growing and being a little bit older. You are learning, uh, learning a new offense uh, again this uh, training camp, but do you feel just in general more comfortable because now you're a, this is a third-year veteran? Absolutely. I mean, you know, it's tough calling myself a veteran. I mean, we got all these guys out here that have played a long, long time and been really good. But, um, yeah, I, I think, you know, just playing, you, you get more comfortable certainly, and it's a new scheme, so – um, you know, there's some guys with some exposure to it, but for the most part, we're all learning together, which is cool. And, um, you know, coming in this fourth, fifth day of camp, it's cool seeing, you know, kind of our identity coming through. And um, we'll keep working on that and, and looking forward to see what happens. Rick talked about the uh, the new offense with Mike McCoy and Bill Musgrave and Jeff Davidson. Um, is it more verbiage intensive than what you had last year? I don't think so. I think, um, you know, with 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 the last offense, Coob, um, you know, there was a lot of tags. There was a, a lot of verbiage going on. And, um, you know, with, with Mike's system and what we're doing, I think for the most part, now, I mean, I, I, nothing's, you know, um, set in stone. But for the most part, they try to shorten down the terminology and get in and out of the huddle quick. And, um, you know, for quarterbacks, it makes makes us a little, our job a little easier. When you said last uh, system, a lot of tags, for people that don't know, you're, you're tagging basically what individual guys do on every play. Sure. So they're, yep. Um, last year in the, in the West Coast scheme, we were, you know, ta- you, there are plays you tag every receiver on the field. So if you can imagine that might take a little while in the huddle. Give us the longest play you can remember from last year's offense. Oh, my gosh. Um, home, the trip's right. Um, three jet. Um I mean, shoot or plays, you know, uh, F shallow cross, X dag, um, Z shake, or uh, can, we, we said. Um, Did he get a guy in the headset saying, hurry safety, up, yeah. hurry up, clock. And that's a yeah. quarterback sneak. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so how about the energy of this camp, you know, with the different coaching staff, you have, you have some different philosophies and energy. How, do, how does it feel uh, comparatively to uh, Kubiak and, and Vance? It's different. You know, I think um, both guys really have a have a good pulse of the locker room and a good feel for the team. I think, um, you know, that's one thing Kub did. And, and uh, VJ, you know, it didn't take us long to figure that out, how, how connected he is with the locker room. So, um, you know, it's the, obviously not the same person, but I think um, in that respect um, there's some similarities. Um, but, you know, it's, it's, I, I think you talk to anybody in the locker room and everybody's enjoyed their time with VJ so far, and um, we're excited. There's a good energy around here, so uh, guys really can't wait to get rolling. Trevor Simeon is our guest. You mentioned that uh, in the first three or four days of practice you can sort of feel – uh, your guys establishing what your identity will be. I mean, what what will that be as you sit here today? I think I think the one thing that we've been is we've been aggressive. You know, especially against our guys um, in our defense, it's really easy to sit there and let them put the clamps on you, especially the guys in the back end. So 
Um, you know, we're, we're going over the top of them. We're running away from them. We're um, giving them a ton of looks. Uh, you know, and it's I think the one thing with this scheme, it's uh, it's pretty easy to be pretty multiple. So we're giving you know a lot of personnel groupings, uh, moving guys around, shifts and motions, and um, trying to make it tough on those guys. Well, we thank you for coming by here uh, early on the show. Uh, it's great to have you on. Uh, we we come out here every season for probably almost twenty years. Oh man! And um, we never get the quarterback on the show. <laughs> I just want to say thank you so much. We we never got Peyton Manning. We never got Jake Plummer. We never got Tim Tebow. We're going all the way back. Uh, so thanks for coming on. So this is this is really good. But you know why that is? Why? Because Dave's sitting here. You know what? You're going to give Dave the credit for that too. <laughs> really? You're probably right though. You're probably right. They're uh, like oh, Dave's kind of important. We'll just do it now. Is that why you came by, Trevor? Because you heard Dave Logan was going to be on the show today. Well, I wasn't going to say anything. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Calling you out. All right. Well, that's cool. Well, I'm glad you're here, Dave. Rick, it's a pleasure to be on your show. (laughs) Too bad you couldn't have been here. Uh, This is awesome. During the Peyton Manning years, would have been nice if you would have got up early (laughs) and showed up. So we could have got Peyton Manning. You could always have come on the afternoon shows then because we had Peyton. (laughs) Uh, Seriously, no, thank you for coming by. It means a lot to us. Yeah, thanks for having me. We wish you the best of luck this season. It's going to be fun. Really appreciate it. Stay healthy. All right, Trevor Simeon.